I've kind of made a, a big five, and it's three linemen, two cornerbacks, Andrew Booth, Kyir Elam, and then Tyler yeah. Linderbaum, and not necessarily in this order, Tyler Linderbaum, Kenyon Green, and Zion Johnson. Yeah. I assume George Karloff, this the edge rusher from Purdue, is gone. Maybe he's yeah. there, and so it becomes a big six. Devontae Wyatt out of Georgia, maybe yeah. he's there. Would be interesting. Like th- So it could be a big seven. I assume yeah. a couple of those guys are going to be gone anyways. And- Go ahead. And why it fits their mold, because yeah. if you look at how this team has drafted as of late, guys that have played in big time championships, team captains, those types of players that have come to the Cincinnati Bengals, Logan Wilson, a captain. You look mm-hmm. at T Higgins and Joe Burrow. We talked last year like, yeah, they're going to the playoffs, but they've played in bigger moments than a wild card round. They played in the national title. Yeah. And there's something to be said about not only who, but what type of players the Bengals have drafted, meaning. Hey, that guy's a three-year captain. That guy just won a national championship. That guy played at the highest level. There's value in that. And the Bengals have kind of have, have not locked into that as of late. And I think it's showing up with the players they've drafted. Yeah, I no, I, I agree with you. And so when it comes to 31, those are kind of seven guys that are yeah. mentioned and have been tied. Is there anybody just, else that stands I, out I to you? I have it in those seven. I lean Elam if I had my pick of the two corners. Do you just really? Because I do because he te- I think, because he tested or why? I, I think the testing. I think there's a little bit of an unknown out there. But mm-hmm. when you play consistently, that that competition. When you play and and you, I, I just I think the Bengals have found a way to draft in the secondary, and I think Elam fits that mold just a, a little bit more. than there's not there's not the the stats on paper. It's just a feeling. Like I think I think he fits into their system. And what they need to do because, look, they, they they brought back Flowers on an extremely under the radar team friendly deal. Yeah, they got Eli Apple back. You know, Awuzie when you when you match his stats up with some of the best in the game, he's right up there right now. So you're not now drafting and saying you got to come be our number one guy. You're drafting to come in and say, hey, we need you. And on defense, you're just trying to limit the home run plays now. Mm-hmm. You're trying to hold teams to three instead of seven, so you can change the way you play on the outside a little bit. Um, so I do, I, I, I barely lean Elam just a little bit more, but, um, the seven you mentioned because you're drafting for depth, I think it gives you a a really clear, uh, idea going forward of, of what this team can be.